Honey, can you get one of the kids to show me how this Twitter thing works? Honey, I need to get on Instagram. Time for more of the Rod Peterson Show. A real treat. Ten-year CFL veteran Mike Cabo Meshwick is with us in the bunker. Great Cup champion. Downtown Toronto, born and raised. Former Ottawa renegade. What did I say? Winnipeg Blue Bomber, Saskatchewan Rough Rider. And Western Mustang. And Western Mustang, of course. He's in their Hall of Fame. And Tad Cornegay is watching from Manhattan and says, Edmonton will probably have to change their name, especially if the Redskins change their name as well. Sucks that we are the generation experiencing the fire uh, for the history behind our history that's been untold for years. We now have to gather all the information, accept this issue, and finally correct it, whether we like it or not. It's the only way forward for all. That's from Tad Cornegay, the great cap kid. Check it in from New York. Uh, CFL on TSN's Dave Naylor checking in in moments. He's told us that he's had some uh, family issues. He's going to be a little late. We might move him to hour two of the program if that's the case. So Major League Soccer is about to resume its season in a state that has seen a huge spike in coronavirus infections with one team absent because of a COVID-19 outbreak and with plenty of worry about what will happen next. The MLS is back. Tournament starts tonight in Florida. The league's teams are sequestered in resorts for the duration of the World Cup style tournament, which will be played without fans at ESPN's Wild World of Sports Complex at Walt Disney World. Dallas FC withdrew from the tournament on Monday after 10 players and a coach tested positive for the virus. Alex Poulin, a two-time world snowboard champion and winter Olympian, has died. Police say the 32-year-old Poulin drowned today while spearfishing on Australia's Gold Coast. And seven-time NASCAR champion Jimmy Johnson can race Sunday at Kentucky Speedway. Johnson has twice tested negative for the coronavirus and been cleared to resume driving. That is uh, the morning sports update for Wendell Clark's Classic Bar and Grill, corner of Idlewild and Circle Drive in Saskatoon. See at Wendell's. It is Wendell Wednesday, guys. The Wendell Burger. Deliciously scrumptious, featured for $13.99. And for Ben Cahoon's G2G Protein Bars, for the month of July, $20 gets you the variety pack, all seven flavors. For just $20, order at g2gbars.ca. Thanks. I meant to ask you what you're doing this weekend. Are we we got to find time to go to Saskatoon. <laughs> uh, that's not happening. Sometimes. I'm digging tree stumps out of the ground. I'm sitting by the pool. I'm not available. Sorry. Have fun with that. Why don't you ask me after the show? <laughs> Uh, Abu, you have thoughts? Can we go to the CFL? Because that is our bread and butter here. Your former teammates at Winnipeg, Doug Brown and Abby Khan, saying the CFL should just take a knee. Can they, can they afford to? Can they afford to not be existent? And I'm not saying this is good or bad. You know, this whole coronavirus has caused everything to kind of reset. And, uh, you know, well, we, you know, and if you had a stupid rule that was bound by some sort of union agreement, it's allowed kind of both sides to look at it and say, well, what are we going to do to go forward? I don't know if the CFL survives Toronto not 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 being there, not not not, not just not being there, not even people going to it, but a, a, as being there. If uh, like right, we always say, you put it on TV and people will watch it. Yep. If it's not there, people aren't going to watch it and people are going to forget about it. Toronto, BC, um, those are two right off the top that I think, do they need to be back? Dot, 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 dot. I know there's advertising dollars and all that other thing, but what we said in the first segment is money out, money in, right? Maybe... Uh, yeah, maybe which, mo- which side are you arguing here, though? You want them back or you don't? Are you saying they have to come back or they'll be out of sight, out of mind? I'm saying let's have a discussion. If, oh. if they're out of sight, if, if they're not in Toronto, if they're not in BC... Everyone's going to say, look, we don't need them. They lose money anyways, and nobody really cares anyways. And they're going to be like, yeah, you're right. Maybe we don't need them. Maybe, oh, what else? You know, there's the Bills. There's the Seahawks. Yeah. But maybe it, maybe it, uh, maybe it opens things up for Atlanta, Canada. Maybe a, mo- a team moves to Quebec City where, where um, you know, the litmus test, where the, where the numbers make a little bit more sense, where people want them. Where, sorry, where the new numbers make sense. Yes, but you're getting four months out in one hit here. All your thoughts, which is great. I'm just trying to follow you, right? Because I was on radio in Hamilton Monday, CHML, Hamilton's news talk leader. And Scott Radley, the host, said, the CFL has to play. Do you agree, Rod? And I'm like, yes, it has to play. It has to play. No, it has to play (laughs) for the reasons that you're seeing. Because if they don't, 
they will die. And so what if it does die in, in those bad markets? There'll always be a riders. There'll always be Eskimos. The Stampeders aren't going anywhere. The Bombers are going to be there. Hamilton Ticats. I mean, Ottawa's whatever they want to call themselves. Uh, there's the fan base there, and there, there will be a CFL. So that's what I'm saying. Maybe, maybe a clean slate isn't, isn't the worst. Do you deal. think they could survive it? No. I don't think that they could survive it the way it is. There's no way that, the, that if they don't play this year, that Vancouver and Toronto specifically are going to be like, eh, we didn't need them anyways, and no one really cared. That, that's the way it is, man. I, I don't like it that way. But that's the way it is. But then maybe we, we open up a other, couple other venues. And, Rob, we've been doing this for 10 years. How many times have we said Quebec City? You know, b b b put a team in Moosem in and they're going to fill a stadium. Just hang know? on. <laughs> you know the audience participation here. You just rankled them all in Vancouver. Brian Warrison from the Lions Den podcast writes in and says, what? You're suggesting we move the Lions to Quebec over my dead body. Lauren Smith, same thing, says, don't refer to BC as a bad market. Oh, so this, this is what we wanted, just some conversation. We, yeah, right. yes. this, is, this is what I'm talking about. And I don't, I'm not here to make friends. I, I, would, I could use a couple. <laughs> but, but, but that's the reality of it, yeah. right, is that we, you have some diehard, you have 10,000 diehard, live or die, BC Lions, Toronto, Ar Okay, 2,000 of Toronto Harganet fans. That's not enough to run, to, run, to run a professional team in those markets. If, you, if, the, if they go away and the fans you know, find something else and they come back after a year, it'll almost be like bringing an expansion franchise to those markets. You'll have to resell the whole thing. But, and then, but there's and enough people in those markets that it could be done if somebody's willing to roll up their sleeves. But can I just in interject an Angus Reed poll? And I'm not talking about the former Lions center who was on the show yesterday. Yeah, it's so confusing. An Angus Reed poll, which was done during the pandemic, showed that BC loves the CFL more than the NFL. And it's actually not close. Or did they just answer a survey? Uh, I'm a money. Why are you double, throwing a wrench into this? Double said it in the first segment. Money talks. So show me, show me, show, show me the money. Show me you love me, baby. Show me the money. I see what you're saying. But what they say in Vancouver is, oh, we love the Lions, but they've sucked for quite a while. So that's why we don't go to the games. And that's not fair. What you're saying is, who are you going to watch? Are you going to watch the Seahawks? As a BC resident, or are you going to watch the Lions, which is actually in your in your region? They're saying they support the BC Lions and they love the CFL sure. more. I'm just saying love I don't want to see the, the Lions leave either. I got a call on Audible here, by the way. It is 10:30 Mountain. We're going to have to move Dave Naylor to hour two, folks. So apologies to the Dave Naylor fans, but we don't, just don't have enough time for him in this segment to bring him on adequately. So. To go back to where we started, I don't want to see BC leave either, but I also want to see Quebec City have a team. You watch the Vanier Cup on CBC? Always. They're a great crowd, yep. beautiful stadium at Laval, but they should have a team. Why can't we have both, that, BC and Quebec City? But that might be why they won't, it won't work in Quebec City is because Laval, people aren't going to stop going to the Laval games to go to the, to the pro games. And uh, so that, there's another uh, kind of wrench of them. And, and, and you can love a team all you want. That's not going to pay the bills. It's it's not going to pay the bills, and I, I don't think there's going to be if the if the league doesn't play, it's if or if even if they do play me I, I I wasn't the greatest with money but I was better than the most and and if we started in June my money ran out at the end of April, you know I balanced checks and I lent money and I borrowed money for May and then once that once those checks came in in June again, it got back and then it, so I don't know what these players are doing from. May, June, we're into July. It's going to be August, September. I would, I would be driving my dad's cab by now, for sure. I would have had to we be would, doing you, you would be doing something. And by the way, Jeff the Stamps fan is watching in Calgary, and he says maybe the fans in Vancouver, Toronto, simply don't like going to the stadium for various reasons. Come on, that's bunk. I mean, I know these are all new viewers and new listeners. You just said we've been doing this for 10 years, and we have. But this, these are all new people. But you smiled, Aaron, and love that fact. You don't have a problem going to Blue Jays games or Canucks games or Leafs games. Come off it. Hang See, on. you just don't want to go to CFL games because you don't like the venue, but you'll go to the exact same place for all these other games. Yeah, Stop. I, I think my 10-year-old kid Plus, is. it's a fraction of the price. Excuses. I think my 10-year-old kid is writing in now. Yeah, but, but at the end of the day, it's a business. If you don't have enough butts in the seats in the CFL, you can't pay the players. You can't pay the... The staff, you can't pay That's the all ticket true. holders. That's all true. So you can love all you want. That's not paying the bills. Uh, 
I see they've stamped Rod's rant here for Bronco Plumbing and Heating. Should I read it? I just feel so, like such a cheese when I <laughs> I didn't plan it. But uh, hey, Bronco Plumbing and Heating, mention Rod sent you and save 10%. They're working at our house right now. When do I do the Bidzy read? I'll do this before we go off the air. Sure. Um, I know we're a little all over the place here. We started on this by saying, should the CFL scrap its season? You know what I hate? I'm getting tugged in two different directions, and I can't decide. Yeah. I can't decide the answer on on much of this. I, I, I said that they couldn't afford. At first, I said they can't afford. Financially, they can't afford to have a season. With no, with no uh, CFL is run by the tickets. You know, with no, without selling tickets, there's no money. So how could you possibly... If you can't afford to fly a player into the country, how can you have a team? You know, but th- th- then I hear that, no, uh, Justin's going to write a check and we're going to do whatever. Yeah. Then I say, all right, well, maybe it can work. That's the only way that it can work is if, if the feds write a check, mm-hmm. everyone comes to, uh, uh, well, it, it does MLS style, you know, come in. and Bubble uh, style. We're here. Remember us. Don't forget us. Here's some great action. It's going to be good. And, uh, and you're going to love it. Carlos Legena is watching in Indianapolis, and he says a decision should have been made last week regarding the CFL. Says who? That magical football fairy? They've given the players a July 23rd deadline to accept or deny this proposal. It's now on the players. It's been thrown into the players' court. They have until July 23rd to accept this proposal, which includes playing on four to five days rest, prorated salaries. You're right. Ottawa has to fund all of this or it's not going to happen and by the way metal shingle guy writes in on the prairie mobile text line 306-840-8777 your authorized SAS tell mobility dealer is prairie mobile he says the agreement with the players signed or not isn't the only issue jt needs to pony up if the cfl is to survive and for american viewers jt up here is in reference to the prime minister justin trudeau and Metal Shingle Guy goes on to say NFL 2 could happen, which is a whole other kettle of fish here. But as far as – it's interesting how you, how you can word these questions. A, it's I said should the CFL scrap its season. B, you could say will the CFL scrap its season. Two, two di- very different things. I think players need to play. Coaches need to play. Or sorry, coaches need to coach. Marketers need to market. Hot dog vendors need to sell hot dogs if that's their thing and they allow 25% into the state. they got to go, they can't sit on their ass and, can, and just get a check from the government. I think they need to, I think that guy was right. They need to make a decision now because, I mean, I was talking about, I was talking about Jeremy, not to Jeremy. I'm like, well, what's he doing? He's like, well, nothing. I'm like, and I'm like, yeah, how can you sign, hey, you want to come play for us? Uh, you guys playing football? Uh, maybe. Maybe. How much? Uh, right. I'm not really sure how much we can pay for you. How many games? I don't know. What what city are we playing? In? I don't know. Like it'd be it's virtually impossible. It is impossible to sign anybody. So if they do play this year, having having veteran players, is, there's probably not going to be any rookies. No one new to the CFL. In six games, you can't learn what a uh, you know a five yard halo is or, or make you know. any money on a rookie deal. You know, when you're, when you're asking learn a guy to, to pause and be training all year and not take a job and come back and play for six games to make anywhere from fifteen to $30,000, it's not a lot of money, and it's a big commitment and a big risk to take. All kinds of comments coming in here. Lauren Smith in BC says the CFL needs to play to cut its losses and remain relevant. That's a fact. It's a no-doubter. They have to play. Actually, your buddy Wade Miller and former teammates said the exact same thing in a Winnipeg media outlet. They will play into December if they have to. He said, hey, Canadians are hardy. They'll sit out in the cold and watch games. My first thought was, let's see you out there, Wade. Which he might. (laughs) As you know, Wade. Uh, Chris Cooper in Toronto, one of our viewers, says Toronto and Vancouver need to replicate what Ottawa has captured, and that's a really fun game day experience. Dude, I'll, that I'll, is so not a conversation for now, however. Toronto has. No one's going. Toronto, the game day it's experience. It's very good. Awesome, you were man. there last it's year. So, I go uh, once a year. It, it, anytime in Toronto there's an ML, uh, MLS game or, or, a, or an Argos game, I go down. It's just such. It's very good. If people were there, it would be great. It's like going yeah. to a fair that's empty. It's kind of yep, weird. Really? Wow. It is great. Well, look, well, someone could be having fun there. Someone could be having fun there. <laughs> look how fun that could be. Uh, listen, we're going to break and come back with Mark Lee, formerly of the CFL on CBC. And as you said, dupes, maybe we'll be again.
I'm going to ask him if he'd, re- if he'd be interested in a return to the CFL. Mark Lee, big name in broadcasting and several Olympics, too. He'll be with us from Toronto next. Hang on. You're watching the RP Show on uh, across North America on Game Plus Network and listening and watching around the world on the Rod Peterson Digital Network. You're watching Rod Peterson On Demand. For more of the Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media. 